Hey, Kevin M. Craft with KevinMCraft.com, your one-stop shop for all things Kevin M. Craft. Going to start a series of videos <clears throat> that we're we'll probably posting each, each month on, on the web, on the website of writing tips. Um, there is one on there now, which I did a couple months ago, that you, you can see. It's but it's written. It's, it's not in video form. We thought it might might be fun and more interesting if I did actually did videos um, where I, I gave the tips and you could see the points and everything going up. So I wanted to try that this time and see what you thought of that. This is kind of an incarnation of a lecture that I used to do in, in public libraries and a book that I'm, and I'm in the process of writing for some time called Effective Creative Writing. So these points I hope will, will help the aspiring uh, fiction writer, the aspiring novelist uh, to uh, be successful in their initial attempts to uh, write a novel. So with that, let's start with some questions that you should ask yourself if you're thinking of writing a novel. Um, it's very important questions that I think will get you off to the right start. The first important question you're going to want to write in considering your idea is, is your idea an original idea or at least an original take on an existing idea? Has it been done a thousand times already? You know, that, that's very important. Uh, we get an idea sometimes and we think, oh, it's, it's such a great idea, you know, but we haven't stopped to think of, has it been done already before? Has it been done ad nauseum? Uh, so it's important to check these things out, uh, see what's been written before, uh, make sure that, that, that what you want to write uh, is an old hat and you want to make sure that you get as much interest in it as possible. So is it an original idea or at least an original take on an existing idea? Second question it's important to ask is why should your story be told? Why should anyone care about it? It's easy to come up with an idea that's important to us or seems important to us. I know I've had a lot of people tell me, you know, when I say, tell me about your story. And they say, well, it's based upon my life and, uh, you know, situations that happened to me. And I'm like, well, okay, right away, I'm, I, the red flag starts coming up because it's like, well, many times things that are, are uh, compelling to us things that we've experienced personally, you know, they have, we have an emotional contact with, may not carry the same weight with someone else listening to it objectively. Oh, okay, nice that happened to you. It's not really a big deal to someone else. So it's important to think about that when it comes to an original fiction idea. Again, you've got to be at a, you know, is it something that might just be interesting for you? Might not be interesting for everybody else. And some of the following questions will help you determine, determine the viability of, of your idea. So. Um, why should your story be told is very important because if nobody cares about it or doesn't have to be told for some compelling reason. There's no sense in trying to tell it. The third question you want to ask yourself is what is the genre of my story? Uh, I'm probably the worst person to talk about this, but uh, they say that it's good from a marketing standpoint to be able to establish a, your, a single genre for your story, whether it's drama, science fiction, fantasy, romance, historical, uh, the dystopian, all those types of things uh, need to be come into consideration. What category does your, does your, your novel or your fiction uh, fit in? Uh, it's, part, it's important from a marketing standpoint because that's going to determine uh, the subject of the next question that I'm about to pose to you. The next question follows right from, from the last one, and that is, what is your audience? Who's going to want to read your story? Now, that's very important because that's going to determine how you target your novel or, or, your, or, your, or your short fiction. Who's going to be reading it? Are you going to send a, a dystopian sci-fi novel to uh, your, the elderly audience, you know, 50 and above? Um, you have to know who your audience is because they're the ones that, you're, that are going to want to read your story. You can try to carve out your own niche like I have, 
Uh, but you're going to find, as I have, that that's very difficult to do. And it's always easier to be able to identify both your genre and, your, and therefore your audience to make it easy on yourself your first time out. Next important question is, can you distill your idea for your novel or your short fiction in a single sentence, commonly called a log line in motion pictures and, and also in, in, in with novels are concerned, a single sentence that talks about what your story is about. We're not talking beginning, middle, and end. We're just talking about what your story is about. Seems like it would be simple, but it's actually a little more difficult than you think. And I'm going to be providing more details uh, in, an, in either another video or and I'll, I'll provide details as far as how to do that in the uh, along with the video in the description. The next question, can you build up your one sentence idea into a three sentence summary that describes the beginning, the middle, and the end of your story. Now this may be a little bit easier than a, than, a, than a single log line, and you can decide for yourself which one you want to do first, but that's going to be very, in, that's going to be very important for you to do because any good story has got to have a beginning, a middle, and an ending. And if you can't do that with your idea, then you don't have a story, quite frankly. All right, after your three sentence summary, you're gonna ask, you have to ask yourself, can you expand that into a short elevator pitch? And an elevator pitch is something that, if you think about the, what it, what it, how long it takes to, for a ride in an elevator, about 15 to 60 seconds, I think is the, is, is the rule, depending on how high up you're going, of course. But if you were going to get an agent or somebody, uh, you know, catch them uh, on the move, you know, you'd have to have a short pitch. And they might say, you, 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 have, you have until uh, I get to my office, you know, in this elevator ride, get to my office to tell me your, tell me your pitch. Well, that's what an elevator pitch is meant, to, is meant to, to, uh, to be. It's a very short summary that you tell someone, or in this, in this case, write it out, that'll compel someone to look further at your work. Elevator pitch. How long, what can you, take, can you tell your story during a short elevator ride? All right, so that's something you're gonna, you're gonna need to uh, learn how to do. It's like a short synopsis, even shorter than a synopsis actually, um, and a little bit more than a, than a three sentence summary. So somewhere in between there, you're gonna find your elevator pitch. And again, we'll, we'll talk more about the details on how to do that in an upcoming video. Okay, if you've done all these things successfully, my final tip for you is to send it to someone who will give you an honest opinion about what, about what they think about, about your idea, whether it's a viable one, they, they, do they find it interesting, uh, are they excited about the prospect? Somebody that's gonna be honest with you. And this may mean sending it to somebody who isn't closely related to you. You might have to send it, you know, send it to a friend or a coworker who isn't so, so who isn't as close to you as a close friend or our family, and then ask them to give you their honest, brutal opinion. When they read it, are they interested in it? And then you'll know whether, whether or not you have a, a, a viable idea. Um, it's sometimes hard to do because if you're asking for honesty, you, you might not like the honesty you get. But that's the essential. And being a writer is that you develop a thick skin and an analytical mind that they can they can they can they can parse the information you're given and saying okay, I can make this work or this isn't going to work or I need to do this you know uh, it'll it'll help you it's something that you you really you really need you need that kind of objectivity that you don't have yourself and that those closest to you don't even have don't even have uh, don't even have for you so if you can find somebody that you trust send them your pitch see what they think. Okay, those are my tips for this, this time. Uh, we're gonna be talk more detail uh, with further videos. And of course, always feel free, you can always reach out to me for more details before the videos come. Uh, I, I love hearing from, from those who get something from my, from my uh, 
my instruction. So uh, feel free to reach out to me at Ke through kevinmcraft.com. Uh, you'll find my contact information there. Uh, but we'll talk more about uh, how to pursue writing effective, creative novels and short fiction um, and get you, get you started out right to ensure your success as an aspiring novelist. Again, I'm Kevin M. Craft. I thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.